Hey everyone, it is Friday here at Craft Clutch, and that means it is another Coaster Friday, and I have another St. Patrick's Day coaster for you today. I had some resin left over, so this is how I'm kind of starting this one. And I have a little bit of resin left, and I got some green confetti. So you can mix all of that together, and I'm going to drop it in the coaster mold. This coaster mold you can find on my website, www.craftclutch.com, under products I use. For um, the resin, I'm using the Easy Cast, and you can find that there as well. And you can also go to their website if you're looking for it internationally, or if you want more information about the product, go to www.eti-usa.com. All right, so I don't have as much resin as I normally would, but that's okay because I'm going to kind of just spread this apart and it's actually getting a little thicker than I would normally want it to be. But again, this is going to be a multi-layer one, so none of that really matters. And it may actually even be better that I don't have it quite as full because we're using the green as a background and actually kind of as a glue for our next... Thing that we're going to put on there as soon as I get this spread out a little more. Alright, once you have it all spread out, um, you can add your next thing. And what I want to do is add some gold coins. I think I'm going to go with these glittery ones, which are from Hobby Lobby. These are a little bit thicker than the typical gold coin. And I'm just going to drop them in there and let them sink. So I have those in there and it looks okay. I think we could put some more stuff in there. So I'm going to open up these, which are buttons actually, also from Hobby Lobby. And I got a little hat with a shamrock on there. And I don't know how well these will show up with the green behind there. I have a sparkly shamrock that's a different kind of glitter, a little kiss me. Okay, so we have those on there. We will let that sit, and then I will come back, throw another layer on, and then I actually want to do stickers on top of there, too. So we'll do that and come back. The first layer has set, and now I'm going to pour some more in there just to even it out so I can put the layer of stickers on it after. So I'm going to pour this thing of resin on there. Let it even out, and then I have very thin stickers. You can certainly leave it like this, but I kind of wanted a different background from what I normally do and have a little bit of a layered effect. So we'll do this. I'll let this sit overnight, and then I will come back and put the next layer of stickers and resin on top of it. I'm back to do the next layer of this coaster and I'm going to use these stickers that I have. And they're kind of cute and they're clear. And I'm going to use the pot of gold little leprechaun guy. I'm going to try to put him right in the middle. And I'll rub it down. It does kind of fade into the background a little bit, which is kind of what I was worried about, but that's okay. I'm going to do one of these shamrocks, and I'm going to put it over, right over one of my gold pieces. So there it is, and I'm going to just throw a layer of resin over it. The next layer of resin is ready to go, and I've already prepared that, and I'm just going to pour a very thin layer over this and it can kind of spread out and do its thing and all we're doing is sealing that sticker the stickers so that they won't come up and they'll be protected once the resin has spread take your lighter run it right over your coaster make sure you get any bubbles that might have risen to the top and then we'll let that sit for 12 hours and we'll come back and unmold it I'm back to unmold the St. Patrick's Day coaster. I'm going to pop him right out of here. And there he is. He's kind of subtle with the green behind and the gold coins. So I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching, and we will definitely see you next time. Happy crafting! Yeah.